Good morning guys from one of the most beautiful places in the world. This is Pamukkale here in Turkey. We've gotten up bright and early today at 6.30 in the morning because that's when the southern gate at Pamukkale opens and we've come to these pools which are completely abandoned. I have an entire pool to myself and we've just watched the beautiful sunrise from behind the Cotton Castle. You can see the hot air balloons rising up from above. This is probably one of the most beautiful sunrises I have ever seen in my life and man, this has always been on my bucket list and I am so happy to finally come to Pamukkale for sunrise because it is everything I believed and more. parts of waking up early in the morning here in Pamukkale. I have the entire place to myself. Literally not a single soul here. I have all the pools. Whichever pool I want to choose, I can go for it because there is literally nobody here. The entrance fee is 180 liras for the Pamukkale Falls and the museum. But I mean, absolutely worth it. Even till now, the Cotton Castle, also known as this whole white area in Pamukkale, is still blocking the sun. The sun still cannot be seen at this point. So it's just a stunning, stunning view. Wow. If there's one sunrise you have to wake up for here in Turkey, this is the one. I don't think it gets better than this. I mean, this blue turquoise water, the super white rocks, yeah, I don't think you can find this anywhere else in the world. It's probably one of the few areas. The reason that it's so blue and so white is because of the minerals in the water. If I'm correct, it has like limestone and some calcium carbonate, something like that. But this place has been around for centuries. And I mean, even the ancient Romans knew about this and they built a city right next to it, which we will explore after we finish here. But wow. You can have an entire view of Pamukkale. You can even see the city of Denizli far away from here. One of the most beautiful, beautiful views I have ever seen. Yeah, definitely a bucket list item. If you're in Turkey, you cannot miss this. As I mentioned earlier, people have known about these beautiful hot springs in Pamukkale for centuries. The ancient Greeks built a city right here on top of the Pamukkale Cotton Castle, that white turquoise blue area, and you can still see the ruins today. So when you get entry with that 100 lira, it's not just for the waterfalls and the pools, it's also for the ruins up here on top. So let's go check those out. just like most ancient cities that you can find in the world, they all have to have entertainment. And here in Hierapolis, there is the famous amphitheater. Don't turn on the lights. I don't wanna fight. This amphitheater right here is one of the best preserved amphitheaters in the entire world, even compared to the ones in Greece and ancient Rome. And they're doing such a good job of restoring what's left here. You can see all the columns and the decorations, the facades. They're still in really, really good quality. And it's a very unique structure because there are not many in the world left that have this well-preserved site. And the state in which it is in is really amazing and spectacular. It's a really large amphitheater. It's much larger than I expected. But yeah, it's definitely a gorgeous amphitheater. It's important to keep in mind how steep this place is just coming down the stairs. You gotta be careful with the steps because wow, some of them are a bit slippery and some of them can really make you fall. Could you hold me tight? 
Since Pamukkale is such a touristy area and so many people come and visit this place every year, they have to find a way to ensure that there is always water flowing and that there's always areas in Pamukkale where people can go and visit. So right here you can see it's completely waterless. There is no water here, it's completely dried out. They're letting the minerals regenerate while the other travertines, the other areas are being used for tourists and photos and everything. So maybe in a couple months or maybe even a couple years, this place will be open again while the other place currently being used will be closed off to regenerate the minerals. So the conservation efforts they are using to ensure that there's a steady stream of water and minerals here on Pamukkale is really, really impressive. We've just made it off the mountain and we're back in Pamukkale town. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Bucket list item for sure. We're gonna head back to the hotel, pack up our stuff, and we're leaving Pamukkale. Hi, so what is this? Chicken. Meat, chicken, oh. spinach. Tour. So we have made it to Denizli bus station, our bus for Bodrum which is our next destination, leaves in about an hour. So I decided, you know, it's a good idea if we get a quick snack, which is exactly what we got here. It's some potato bread, I wanna say. Yeah, it's cold and stale, but it's something to eat. All right, I'll see you guys on the bus. That was a very long bus ride. That was almost five hours from Denizli to Bodrum, but we've made it here. Welcome to Bodrum. We have officially just made it into Bodrum. We just checked into a pension house. None of these are booked, by the way. I just showed up. I just showed up, asked them that they have a room, and they said they would charge me 100 liras, which is very, very reasonable. So I took it, and now we're good. So we are now going to head to the beach here in Bodrum and catch the sunset. It's supposed to be a beautiful sunset today, so let's hope it lives up to the hype. 